cattle rustling has become a huge security challenge in Nigeria, threatening security of lives and property and the livelihood of rural pastoralists in parts of northern Nigeria. In the north central state of Kaduna, there have been brutal attacks on many villages this year, with herders and farmers killed by the armed bandits and their livestock stolen. Communities attacked include Kachia, Dinki, and Jire Town. According to security operatives, most of the animal rustlers in Kaduna and neighboring states live in the Kamuku Forest in Burning Gwari local government area. The suspects may have been successful in their operations, but their celebration is short lived as raids by police and other security agencies are yielding positive results. We're handing over a total of 144. A recovered animal after a successful operation being conducted with our security agencies. I'm using this opportunity to sincerely appreciate the effort of our security personnel that are conducting this type of operation in Kaduna. This is a great achievement. A major boost to the operation is the recovery of over 600 stolen cows by the operatives of the Nigerian Air Force under Operation Sharon Daji. According to the commander of 335 Base Group, the operation is in line with the directive of the Chief of Air Staff. We had not relented on our efforts. We had continued to strive in searching for the bandits, we are taking the war to them. And it is to that effect that we successfully, on Monday, carried out an operation around Rima, close to Rima village. And of course, we were able to get these lots of cows and sheep. I would like to call on the general public to volunteer useful information that can lead to more arrests and more recovery of this Russian house. Members of the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria commend the efforts to flush out the rustlers. Attacks on pastoralists have become a recurring incident in Kaduna State where entire villages and herders' camps are destroyed. It might have claimed some level of victory, but the JTF's Operation Sharon Daji still has its work cut out to stop cattle rustling and armed banditry in the state, or at least bring the crimes to the barest minimum.